Once upon a time, a frog came out of his house, out of a round lake. And hop, 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 she went for a walk. And hop, 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 and lost her way home. And then, to her misfortune, she came upon an ant trail. Dozens of ants ran up on her back. Hundreds of ants clung to our stomach. We buy, quite the fog, what? How are you not ashamed to bite a lost man, to suck the blood of a hungry man? The ants were really ashamed. They bowed low and said, Dear fog, come and visit us to eat our food. The fog agreed. He doesn't remember what he ate. What conversation she had at the table, she didn't realize. She doesn't know what she slept on. She ate all the honey. In the morning, she woke up and asked for an ant. Please climb this large tree, see which way is my house. The ant climbed up the tree and said, There's a lake shining in the west. Would you like me to show you a shortcut? Oh, how kind you are. The fog was happy. Come, come. I'll give you a good treat for it. No, says the ant, I don't agree to treat myself alone. We fed and fed you all yesterday. Today, if you want, call us all too. We are friendly people. We can neither work nor rest apart. And the fog invited all the ants to visit him. Here's Yuna jumping like a green pebble, and the ants followed her in a stream. All, or, as many as there were in the ant hill, all the ants from the forest are coming to visit the fog. They came to the lake. And the fog says, You ants, stay here, I'll go and get some treats, and dived into the water. The ants stayed a day and two days, but the fog was still gone. On the seventh day the ants' mother got angry. Well, she said, waiting for a fog's treat will starve you to death. She tightened her belt and went home. And all the ants tightened their belts and went home. So from that time onwards the ants of them walking around with that belly tightly tightened. They're the ones who still haven't fattened up. Since then the ants have a very thin waist. It is not without reason that Kazakhs say, Kamaska belly, comparing the thinnest waists of girls with ants' waists.